because I always expected uh, from grade school that I would go, you know, finish high school, finish four years of university, four years of medical school. I always thought that that would be how it goes. And when I finished my undergraduate and I wasn't in that place, I had to take a little bit of a detour. I know there's quite a few medical schools in the Caribbean, and there's a couple of them that are actually known to be really good ones. And Seba was in the top three of those schools. I didn't expect to love the island as much as I actually ended up. Um, I met a lot of really nice local people who live there. I met really good friends. They always say that the Seba students work the hardest and we were ready to go compared to some of the other students from maybe other schools or maybe other American schools because everything isn't just handed to you. I decided I wanted to do a specialty and that that was what my heart was set on. So I knew um, whether or not I go back home to Canada or go to the States, it was going to be obstetrics for me. It's competitive. So, you know, while my classmates are getting three, four, five interviews at one time, I'm only getting one. I have fewer interviews, but I told myself, you know, you went through all of this, you need to do a specialty that makes you happy. Even if you have to do another year of something else and then get in, at least your goal at the end, you're going to be practicing what you love to practice. So right now I start my residency uh, in July. I'm going to the University of Toronto for obstetrics and gynecology. If I could say uh, what Seba has given me, I would say Seba gave me the tools I needed to succeed.